it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys. This has been so highly requested ever since I post last week's videos with my hair looking like this. So many of you guys messaged me on Instagram asking me if I can do a hair tutorial on my hair in my last video. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. Whenever I do hair tutorials, I try to make them the easiest as possible because I'm not an expert at hair, uh, nor do I ever claim to be. I just kind of have learned on my own how to style my hair in ways that I like to wear it and ways that I don't like to wear it. I like to wear my hair like this basically all year. Um, but my favorite time to wear it is definitely in the summertime. Um, so it's kind of ironic that I'm doing this video now in the winter. But I just styled my hair like this last week and I have kind of have been a little bit obsessed with it. So I wanted to do my hair like this again this weekend. So I figured that I'd go ahead and show you guys how I do my hair. All I am using is that Revlon Body Waver, which you guys will see in just a few minutes when I am actually doing my hair. It is so easy. I literally use, you guys, three products. This is something that if you're a beginner at hair, or you're not really that good at doing hair, I think this is something that you can definitely do. So if you are looking for a way to get your hair look like natural kind of waves, almost like a curly look, this is the best thing for you, especially if you're not good with the curling wands or wrapping your hair, anything like that, or you're just not good with curling your hair. This is something that I swear by. It is so easy, and anybody can do this look because it's literally that easy. All you have to do is just clamp, and move down your hair and you get these beautiful waves and I'm going to show you guys a few products um, that I use when I do my hair like this one of them being the Moroccan treatment oil this is in my last current favorites video I use this all the time anyways but this just really helps kind of put some hydration back into the waves and curls and just give your hair a nice shiny healthy look and then I've been recently really loving this bamboo fiber full big hairspray it smells so good and um, um, it just kind of gives you like really nice big hair and it lasts all day so I really really like this stuff so yeah that is pretty much all of the things I wanted to talk about I will link all the items that I mentioned down below in the description box so definitely check it out and also I will list my outfit that I'm currently wearing right now so in case you guys are interested in what I'm wearing it will be down below in the description box without further ado let's go ahead and get into this beautiful easy and effortless beachy wave look Okay, so getting started, I'm just going to take my wet brush and just brush out my hair. All I did to my hair was blow dry it and spray in some heat protectant. Any heat protectant will do, so just use um, whatever you personally like. So I'm starting off with my hair just kind of how it fell naturally, just kind of a little off-centered, but mostly centered. So I'm going to split my hair into two sections and... I'm just going to take a hair scrunchie and section off this side of my hair. Now, if you have thinner hair, you probably won't have to do this. You can just section it this way. But because I have thick hair and my hair is long, I have to do it this way. So I have my section here. And what I'm going to do is split it right above my ear. So like right in here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to clip it up. I'm next gonna take my bamboo fiber full big hairspray and what I'm gonna do with this is just lightly mist my hair with this just to give it a little bit of hold. What I use to achieve this look is the Revlon. I think this is just like a body waver. There's no name on it but it looks like this. You have the two barrels and then it clamps down. See? So this goes up to, I think, 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. I'm not positive. I will link this product down below. Um, but it just goes up. I put it to the highest heat setting because I have coarse, thick hair. So um, I just put it on the highest heat setting. I probably don't need to do that, but I do. So what I'm going to do is take my hair. And I'm going to take about maybe like an inch and a half, two inch section. And I'm going to take the clamp. I like to take the two barrels upward. And I'm going to just clamp down on my hair. And I'm going to hold this for about 7 to 8 seconds. And then I'm going to let it go. And then you need to follow where the groove is. So as you guys can see here, this will be the end of the groove after I'm done holding this. And I'm going to just match it up to that groove. So if you guys can see how 
like the grooves are all indented you want to make sure that you follow the groove down because if you don't then the pattern won't it won't be that like perfect wave that you want and then I just let it go and I just throw that piece to the back then again I take another piece like just as big take the clamp clamp it down hold it anywhere between like I said seven to ten seconds and then follow the grooves so you kind of have to look to see where the last groove ended and then start your next groove there so again the groove ended I'm just gonna pull it down to there and the last groove at the bottom And let it go and then you have the perfect like little wave and I just throw it to the back I'm not getting all the way at the root but I'm getting pretty close to the root for my bottom pieces I kind of usually don't care about how those ones are so I just kind of get it the closest I can so again I'm seeing where it ended and I'm clamping it down on the last groove just like that throw it to the back Last piece in the front here. It's literally so, so easy. This is like, if you're bad at like curling your hair or anything this is so easy once you get the hang of it and my hair just looks like this and I'm gonna take a little bit more hairspray spray it and then push it to the back and take down the next section so I kind of split this section in half again my hair is super thick so some of you might not have to do that but I have to and I'm gonna brush it out spray a little bit of hairspray on those pieces as you guys can see, I get to the closest I can to the root where I'm not burning my head because this, you don't want to get too close. All right, so I'm going to speed through the rest of my hair and then come back to show you guys for the top pieces, but it's going to be repeating the same process. So I'm going to throw on some Christmas music. I'm listening to Jesse James Decker's new album. So... So what I did was brush it out and then I am going Then I'm going to just spray it And we're gonna do basically the same process But once I'm at the top here at the top of the root I want to go all the way up to the top Again be careful about like burning your head or anything like that But you want to make sure you get to the highest part of the root because then your hair will look straight and then wavy so you want it to look like it waved from the top of your head if that makes sense it's like if you were to have naturally curly hair it would you know the curl would start up at the top and, and it wouldn't be like straight and then wavy it would be waved you know so as you guys can see I'm getting way up here at the root like way up at the root clamping it down hopefully if I tilt my head down a little bit you guys can see That way, as you guys can see, it looks like it's coming straight from the root of my hair. I'm going to go ahead and do the same process on the rest of my hair, and then I will come back and show you guys my final step. Once I am done waving all of my hair, I take a little bit of my Moroccan treatment oil, and I like to just take a little bit of this, and I'm going to massage that into my hands, and then I'm going to apply it mostly 
towards the ends where they're a little bit dry. This is just going to give us a nice shine and it's just going to help make our hair look a lot healthier. And it smells really good. And if you want, you can spray a little bit more hairspray, just a little bit, a few spritz. I don't want to do too much. Then there you have it. That's the completed look. Usually what I find is that the curls look better the next day. So this is just kind of a little bit right now really, really full. But once it kind of sets and settles down, it's going to be really, really pretty, nice, loose kind of waves. And I love how it looks. And I know you guys have really wanted to see this hair tutorial. So this is the final result. Beautiful, gorgeous waves. And it's super, super easy. So that completes my hair tutorial for these super easy, simple waves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up this video if you really enjoyed it, and thumbs up if you guys like hair tutorials because I can do more of them for you. I don't always style my hair too much, but I do have a few hair tutorials on my channel for basically all of my go-to styles that whenever I do my hair. So I will link those videos down below so you guys can go watch them. Comments below, leave me some requests for some future videos that you guys want to see. It is Vlogmas season, and I am not going to be doing Vlogmas I'm going to continue on the schedule of uploading three times a week. So if you guys have any videos you'd like to see, leave them down below. I have some really fun videos planned for you guys. And yeah, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see more of like my behind the scenes of my channel. I'm always asking you guys polls on there and I'm always posting all of my outfit posts. So if you really are into my style or we have similar style, definitely follow me on Instagram and you can see what I wear on a day to day basis and when I like to dress up a little bit. So that is pretty much it. If you guys watch it till the end, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell. And I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Bye guys.